let's begin with a remark made by the former United States President, Mr. Barack Obama. That is, we are the first generation to feel the effect of climate change and the last generation who can do something about it. The Finnish Meteorological Institute researchers published their study in the Communication Earth and Environment Journal saying that Arctic is heating four times faster than the rest of the planet. And it also says that the warming is more concentrated in the Eurasian part of the Arctic where the Barents Sea which is north of Russia and Norway is warming at an alarming rate that is seven times faster than the global average. The studies in 2021 and in 2022 indicates that Arctic amplification is four times the global rate. So what is Arctic amplification? Any change in the surface air temperature and the net radiation balance tend to produce larger changes in the North and South Poles. This phenomenon is known as polar amplification. When these changes are observed at the northern latitude, it is known as Arctic amplification. Now let's see what are the causes of Arctic amplification. Among many other causes, the ice albedo feedback, lapse rate feedback, water vapor feedback and ocean heat transport are primary causes for Arctic amplification. In climate change, a feedback is something that speed up or slows down a warming trend. A positive feedback accelerates a temperature rise whereas a negative feedback slows down it. So let's see what is ice albedo feedback. Sea ice and snow have high albedo. Albedo means it is a measure of reflectivity of the surface. And the high albedo of sea ice and snow implies that they are capable of reflecting most of the solar radiation as opposed to water and land. As the sea ice melts, the Arctic Ocean will be more capable of absorbing solar radiation, thereby driving the amplification. The lapse rate feedback. The lapse rate is the rate at which the temperature decreases with increase in elevation. When the lap rate decreases, it increases warming. The studies shows that the ice albedo feedback and the lapse rate feedback are responsible for 40% and 15% of polar amplification respectively. Next causes water vapor feedback. We know that water vapor has the ability to absorb radiations and other particles. The increased water vapor in the atmosphere supercharges the warming caused by other greenhouse gases by keeping them trapped in the atmosphere. Next causes ocean heat transport. Here, the ocean currents plays a major role. The warm ocean current from the tropical area reaches the Arctic region and the cold current from the Arctic region reaches the tropic region. With the increasing temperature and also with the effect of warm ocean current, the melting of Arctic region increases. These are some of the causes for Arctic amplification. Now let's see some of the important study reports related to Arctic amplification. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released a special report on the ocean and cryosphere in a changing climate in 2019 states that the Arctic surface air temperature has likely increased by more than double the global average over the last two decades. Also, the Arctic Monitoring and Assessment Program has warned that the Arctic has warmed three times quicker than the planet and the chance of the sea ice completely disappearing in summers is 10 times greater if the planet is warmed by 2 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels. Let's see the consequences of Arctic warming. The causes and consequences of Arctic amplification are cyclical. What might be a cause can be a consequence too. Greenlandic ice sheet holds the second largest amount of ice after Antarctica and therefore it is crucial for maintaining the sea level. If the sheet melts completely, the sea level would rise by 7 meters 
capable of subsuming island countries and major coastal cities. The warming of the Arctic Ocean and the seas in the region is impacting the biodiversity, including the marine species and dependent species. The warming is also increasing the incidence of rainfall, which is affecting the availability and accessibility of lichens to the rain days. The Arctic amplification is causing widespread starvation and death among the Arctic fauna. The permafrost in the Arctic is thawing and in turn releasing carbon and methane, which are among the major greenhouse gases responsible for global warming. The expert also fears that the melting of permafrost will also release long dormant bacteria and viruses that were trapped in the permafrost and can potentially give rise to diseases. Now let's see its impact on India. A study titled A Possible Relation Between Arctic Sea Ice and Late Season Indian Summer Monsoon Rainfall Extremes published in 2021 by a group of Indian and Norwegian scientists found that the reduced sea ice in the Barents Kara Sea region can lead to extreme rainfall events in the later half of monsoons that is in September and October. According to the World Meteorological Organization's report, State of Global Climate in 2021, sea level along the Indian coast is rising faster than the global average rate. One of the primary reasons for this rise is the melting of sea ice in the polar region especially the Arctic. Thus, the Arctic amplification furthers the idea that what happens in the Arctic does not remain in the Arctic and can substantially affect tropical process far south. Now let's see a model question. Which of the following is or are the consequence or consequences of Arctic warming? First statement, thinning of Greenland ice sheet. Second statement, trigger the release of carbon and methane. Third statement, affect the population of reindeers. Select the correct answer using the code given below. Option A, 1 only. Option B, 1 and 2 only. Option C, 2 and 3 only. And Option D, 1, 2 and 3. Write the answer in the comment section below. The answer the explanation and the detailed material will be provided in our telegram channel. The link to our telegram channel will be provided in the description below. Thank you for watching.